Hey everybody, we're so happy to be with you here today. Thank you for joining us for another edition of This, this is, is Epic. Epic. You may remember last week we started a new series and got a new memory verse. Do you remember it, Tula? Totally. And last week we spoke about faith. Well, this week we're moving on and talking about hope, and I'm really excited about it too. Oh, I love this because it reminds me of something super fun. Uh-oh. No, don't be nervous. I promise it's cool. Okay, okay. I'm going to try to read your mind. Think of an animal or a creature, any animal or creature in the whole wide world. Don't say it out loud. Okay. And I'm going to read your mind. I'm not sure about that. You have an animal or creature yep, in mind? Yep, I do. All right. The animal or creature you were thinking of was a caterpillar. Uh, no, no, it wasn't. Really? Are you sure? I totally thought you were thinking of a caterpillar. No, in fact, not at all. Not even close, actually. You know, caterpillars are kind of a hopeless creature. Like the highlight of their day is not getting eaten by some kind of bird. Oh, you know what? You're actually right. And the truth is, I knew you probably weren't thinking of a caterpillar. But I wanted to use it because there's a really good story in it. Okay, let's hear this story. Okay, so you were right. The caterpillar's life is kind of bizarre. And besides not trying to get eaten every day, it eventually seems to even get worse. After a while, a caterpillar ends up in something called a cocoon, when all of a sudden, all around it, it's kind of crammed into this small little spot, like this. Oftentimes in our life, it can be like that. Every now and then, it seems to be a little hopeless. We find ourselves in situations where we don't totally understand, or situations that maybe we'd rather not be in. That's the truth. But you know what? There's an amazing lesson we can learn from this caterpillar. See, the caterpillar might seem somewhat hopeless, but there's an amazing thing God does in the life of a caterpillar. Okay, I gotta see this. Okay, so even though it goes into this cocoon, in this difficult, challenging situation, something totally awesome happens. When it comes out of the cocoon, God has done something incredible. He's transformed that caterpillar into a butterfly. That's so awesome. That reminds me of something from the Bible, though. You see, in Romans 8.28, it tells us that God can work all things together for His good. Even when we find ourselves in these hopeless and difficult situations, we can know that Jesus is always our hope, and He can use anything for His good. I love that scripture. I do, too. And you know, the Bible has a lot to say about hope. Yeah, it does. And guess what? Our Broadway kids know it, too. Check this out. And this hope will not lead to disappointment, for we know how dearly God loves us, because he has given us the Holy Spirit to fill our hearts with his love. Romans 5.5 5. I pray that God, the source of hope, will fill you completely with joy and peace, because you trust in him. Then you will overflow with confident hope. The through the power of the Holy Spirit, Romans 15, 13. You are my refuge and my shield. Your word is my source of hope, Psalms 119, 114. But now, Lord, what do I look for? My hope is in you, Psalms 39, 7. That was so great. I know, I love seeing their faces. I miss our Broadway kids. You know what? I, I think it's time for a memory verse. And here it is. You ready? Ready. All right, here's our memory verse. And now these three things remain. Faith, hope, and love. But the greatest of these is love. 1 Corinthians 13, 13. I just love our memory verse. <laughs> Me too. Okay, guys, I think that'll do it for this week. Thank you for joining us for another edition of This, this is, is Epic! epic.